Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of To The Point. Today's topic of discussion is Endangered Primates. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. According to a new report titled Primates in Peril, the world's 25 most endangered primates, 2023 to 2025, the Cross River Gorilla and Tapanuli Orangutan have been identified among the world's most endangered primates. Now let's discuss about the report. The report, Primates in Peril, the world's 25 most endangered primates, 2023 to 2025, was compiled by an international team of primate researchers. It highlights 25 of the most endangered primates across Asia, Africa, Madagascar and South America for the 2023 to 2025 period. The list includes six species from Africa, four from Madagascar, nine from Asia and six from South America. Countries such as Indonesia and Madagascar have four species each on the list, while China, Nigeria and Vietnam have three, Ferez Langur and the Western Hulok Gibbon, two primates found in Northeast India and Bangladesh, were considered for inclusion in the final list, but ultimately did not make it. Now let's talk about the key primates, species. Cross River Gorilla, found in Cameroon and Nigeria, this gorilla is critically endangered due to habitat loss and poaching. The Cross River Gorilla is one of the rarest primates in the world with fewer than 300 individuals remaining. Tapanuli orangutan, native to Sumatra, Indonesia. The Tapanuli orangutan is another critically endangered species. Habitat destruction caused by logging and the encroachment of palm oil plantations pose significant threats to its survival. Pears langur, found in Northeast India and Bangladesh, this species has been severely affected by hunting, habitat loss and fragmentation. The population has declined by 50% to 80% over the last three generations. Western Hulok Gibbon This gibbon is found in the eastern part of India, Bangladesh and Myanmar. Habitat destruction, hunting and illegal wildlife trade are major threats to its survival. Now lastly moving on to conservation efforts and recommendations. A major recommendation is to restore degraded habitats and create ecological corridors to link fragmented habitats. Engaging local communities in conservation efforts is crucial. Education and awareness programs, as well as involving local people in wildlife monitoring and protection activities, are vital for long-term conservation success. Governments, particularly in India, Indonesia and Bangladesh must implement stricter laws to combat illegal hunting and deforestation. Intensive conservation measures, including habitat restoration and transboundary conservation, are recommended to protect the species. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Western Hulok Gibbon. 1. The Western Hulok Gibbon is found in Myanmar, India and Bangladesh. 2. The Western Hulok Gibbon is classified as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.